how do you know that Ray knew do know how to do that? Was this a conversation you had with Ray about him doing that with the jacuzzi? No, it was an experience I had <laughs> with Ray. I, I didn't find out on Reddit. Uh, we, we, we broke into the Mulholland Club. Uh, the Mulholland Club is a tennis club on top of Mulholland in uh, Southern California. Uh, during the summer, we used to break into the club and use the pool and jacuzzi area. Uh, we went over the fence. We'd all go skinny dipping. Um, we got into the jacuzzi. And Ray figured out that the distance from the top of the jacuzzi, it was built into the ground, you know. The coping to the water jet was exactly as long as his femur boat. Like, he would literally go inverted Apollo 13 style. Like, okay. he'd be back Tom was, Hanks, Kevin Bacon style. He was ready for re-entry. <laughs> oh, Houston, we got a problem. <laughs> He would throw his legs up on the cement, lower his behind down to that jacuzzi jet, and top himself off. (laughs) Once he was sufficiently filled with jacuzzi water, (laughs) he would then get out of it, reach down to his ankles, and shoot a rooster tail of God knows whatever he'd consumed earlier that day or possibly week out of his ass. Now, the good news was you only had to avoid the first two or three. But by the fifth or sixth, you could drink whatever yeah. was coming out of him. It was purified. Yeah. You didn't Ray have had to, an internal uh, filtration system. It was the first one you had to, you had to steer clear of. But... Make, uh, I, understand when he came out of that jacuzzi, he was gunning for you. This was not an exhibition. He was going after somebody with what he had filled himself up with and later on realized that he could do this with a garden hose just as easily <laughs> as he could with a jacuzzi jet. You know, at first I thought I was like not really going to want to hear this, but now we've all learned something, and... I, uh... (laughs) will tell you that he filled up with the jacuzzi, uh, with a hose. Uh Now, none of us possess jacuzzis, but my mom's house did have a hose bib in front of it. You were that well off, you could afford the hose? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) In North Hollywood... And Ray did top himself off before we went through the -the jack-in-the-box drive-thru. Could you could you approximate the volume of of how much uh, liquid he could expel? How many cc's? Yeah, or something. Well, uh, you see that thermos he have there, Jeff? (laughs) Yeah, would he fill the thermos? No, no. I I I, listen. For first off, I you know I say this with uh, with a heavy heart, but everyone should try this once. (laughs) Just to realize the power that lies within. You know, you know how you like, uh, uh, Tony Robbins wants you to walk across the coals? Yep. Yep. This is kind of that, except for shit flying out of your ass. <laughs> uh, have, you ever, have you ever come back from Mexico and been like, oh man, I got it bad? I, you, you, uh, what I'm saying is, have you ever sat on the toilet and really had that feeling of an explosion? coming out of there. I have. This is that. Okay. Times 10. Ooh. Well, because you have filled yourself to the gills with this water, and Ray is a powerful man. (laughs) Ray was 6'2", 220, striated and all muscle, and what came out of him was 22, 23 feet long and thick in volume as well. (laughs) <laughs> there were, this was not a trickle. Wait, it was wait a an minute. Explosion. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're Sorry. saying from here to where? Uh, well, there's the Jack in the Box drive through. How far is Henderson from here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, and I know some, there's some poor woman who doesn't want to hear about what's coming out of race. Yeah, she's like, I'm trying to join my fucking nachos. Thanks a lot. Glad I got the chili. Um, if Ray stood on the edge of this 
stage. stage and backed himself up, he could definitely get to where these beautiful women are here in the black and red dress, about 22 feet away without any problem at all. Well, you've got your new podcast, your next podcast. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I really have to fucking film this once before the man is uh, claimed by cancer. All right. Were we talking about jacuzzis? But Jacuzzi wait, tubs. Fin- finish up at the Jack in the Box drive through and, and There's an end of this story. Uh, it's, it's, it's all in a book that I wrote, but um, Ray filled himself up. Um, we borrowed a car. Um, I said, Ray, here's the deal. We're going to pull into the Jack in the Box drive through <laughs> You're going to roll the window down, you're going to hang your ass out, and you're going to go to town. We, we had like a 77 Toyota Corolla or Celica. I think it was like a Celica. And Ray said, I don't drive a stick. You think a guy could shoot a 20-foot yeah. rooster tail out of his asshole, could handle a clutch. Ray did not drive a stick. I drove a stick. Oh, so uh, it's going to be cross... You're going to be cross... World's man. worst wheel man job <laughs> ever. <laughs> because normally when you're wheel man and the guy comes running out of the bank, you get a cut. Right. You, pardon the pun, get to wet your beak. <laughs> this was almost zero upside to what was going on. Right. But uh, Ray pulled in... Uh, I drove... And uh, I reclined uh, the seat. Why didn't he take the back seat? Why didn't Ray take the back seat? Yeah. Why, why didn't Did you he? think of that? Ray's a giant man, and this is a miniature Japanese car. From the, There was, like, almost no back seat. If you remember <laughs> those cars from the 70s, there wasn't a back seat. And Ray sat in the passenger seat. Uh, we ordered, like, one French fry. <laughs> We pulled through the Jack in the Box in North Hollywood uh, at like 1 a.m. And uh, right now, here's the problem. The problem is, is this is not a science, Jeff. Once you top off, no telling. There is no telling. What does that mean? You're a ticking what? time bomb. I think you know what it means, Jeff. What I'm saying is anyone who's ever experienced explosive diarrhea has that feeling of I uh, I could be good for the next 20 minutes or I may just go right now. Like I don't I'm one hiccup away from ruining these dockers. So he filled up at the the hose at the house. He filled up at the hose at my mom's house. How far is that from the jack in the box? As the crow flies, it, it was it was about a mile away. But, again, I was driving the car yeah. like I was driving next to a guy with an explosive vest filled with rusty nails, yeah. and the timer was <laughs> fucked up on his box. Like, the thing was just spinning yeah. around. One bump in the road, and you're swimming home. Yeah. <laughs> Whose right. car was it? We borrowed the car from a friend of ours. I, we didn't tell him everything we were planning on doing that night. You're the worst person in the I planet. really am. <laughs> so... I'm sitting there next to him, and Ray's in the car, and he's like, go, 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 (laughs) go, go, I can't hold it, go. And, you know, we're going to pull up to the drive-thru of Jack in the Box at 1 a.m. I don't know who's going to be in front of us. There could be, you can pull up, and there could be eight cars in front of you at 1 a.m. with all the stoners getting the 99-cent tacos. But we pulled up, there's like a car ahead of us, you know, and Ray's like, I can't. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Because once you fill up, you know. I got it. Yeah, you get it. Yeah. So Ray's like in a fetal position. Like, I can't hold it any longer. Uh-huh. And uh, the guy gets in front of us, and we, I order, like, just an order for us. And we pull up to the window, and I lean the seat back, roll the window down. Ray drags his balls across my forehead. <laughs> shoves his huge ass out of the window and, and then time freezes he just he's like he's just there and I'm yelling go go and the guy who works at the jack in the box thank god they compensate them lavishly 
for that job. Otherwise, I'd feel sorry for the guy, you know. <laughs>